Hello, my name is Michael Angelo and welcome to my channel. Today, I have a special holster today. It is a Dara holster with soft loops. So just to kind of get started, uh, I've already had this holster for a couple weeks. It does come in a really super premium box though, which is unusual, seeing how it's not like, I don't, I wouldn't really consider it a premium holster. Um, I paid a premium price for it because of the soft loops, but like it comes in this really nice box, which I thought was pretty cool. And then uh, I think inside, I don't know if I kept the paperwork or not. Um, yeah, so it comes with this little thing here and then the even foam. So like so far compared to like at least compared to T-Rex arms and Vetter and all them. Uh, I mean, they came in bubble packaging, but like they didn't actually come in a legitimate box. So. That's one thing I'm definitely going to have to give to Dara right off the bat. I paid an extra $12 for soft loops, and I definitely overpaid for that. Um, honestly, I don't even know if I like the soft loops. I might just go back to a single clip, or I might just buy uh, uh, dual clips and put them on. Because, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why I thought I would like soft loops, because I don't like it when my gun moves in my waistband. Um Maybe it was just to see if it conceals better, and I, it doesn't appear to do that either. Um, but yeah, so it I don't know why I did that. But hey, at least I can, now I can say I tried soft loops, and, and I'm not really a fan. So the only other thing that I'm not really a fan of of this holster is just this. Like, this is just purely aesthetic. Like, to me, this looks really ugly. Um, but hey, like, uh, again, for, I think... I think for uh, this holster was like $60 if I remember right. Um, and then plus the, the $12 for the soft loops. So I would consider this like a, a mid-grade holster uh, personally. Or like a quality holster would be a better term. The only other thing that I would like to mention is that it physically feels thicker. But if you compare it to the Vetter holster, you can see that it is actually just a little bit thicker. And we're talking millimeters here, people. So... Realistically, you're not gonna feel it inside the waistband. I just noticed that when I I first picked up the the holster, that I immediately just felt like it felt sturdier and it and it feels thicker. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, like I said, I've already had it for a couple of weeks now. I've been wearing it with the FNX. Uh, the claw system that when I bought it, it actually didn't come with this little lip here. So just keep that in mind when you ordered yours. That if you don't have this lip, then make sure you grab that too. But I, I had one from my Black Arch Revcon holster, so I just put it on, and it's worked fantastic so far. Uh, obviously, if you order it without the claw, I don't think you're going to have all of this extra space right here, so just keep that in mind. Um, may, maybe you will, maybe you won't, but I'm pretty sure all that extra space is to actually accommodate for the claw. So, it does have a, a larger footprint than the Vetter. But again, it fits my needs, and I can carry this one appendix without the design flaw of the Vetter holster. Not a knock on Vetter, just like, I'm a, I'm a little upset with that, that holster because I really wanted to use it, and I really liked it. And I just, like, for me, it's just kind of ridiculous that, that you couldn't, that clearly told me with that Vetter holster that they've never actually put it on an appendix. Otherwise, you would have immediately saw that design flaw. But anyway, I'm, I'm not going to go on about that on... Um, but just to go on with the first impressions of this holster, again, I've only had it for about three weeks or so. I've only worn it in the past three weeks. That means I've only worn it, what, 21 days or something like that. Uh, so I will give you all a one-month review once I hit the 30-day mark with this holster. Not the 30-day mark, but the 30-day worn period uh, of this holster. So if you have any questions about the holster, let me know. Um, one thing that I've noticed, though, is that these buttons for the soft loops... They're very, very tough, right? So it's at a point now where, like, I don't even bother unbuttoning the soft loop. I just feed my belt through and just call it a day. Uh, so that's kind of another reason why I want to go back to a clip as uh, it's just doing that is kind of a pain as well. But anyway, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, Future Michael here. Uh, just something I wanted to add in really quick. I, I really did intend to do this, but I kind of rushed myself because uh, because I, I do have a dog and like he started nagging me about going outside. So I just had to wrap up the video really quick. But just to kind of show you, now the FNX is loaded. Um, as you can see, it's decocked. The safety is on. My finger is not on the trigger. 
and the gun is pointed in a safe direction. And this is just kind of the retention you're going to get. Here, let me show it this way. The retention you're going to get. Super stiff. As you can see, it's super indented up here. And that's where your retention is. Now, this is not the default retention. I actually have loosened it since, uh, uh, since I've gotten it. So, the default retention, in my opinion, was way too much. Um, <laughs> so, maybe they do it intentionally. And then they just expect you to lighten it up as you go. But yeah, just kind of a little addition and how much retention. Now, on camera, that looks like a lot. But keep in mind, that's not in my waistband. When I actually draw from my waistband, it's actually a lot less of a retention because I have obviously a better angle and then more momentum. So, but just to be aware that when you order this also, the retention will be fairly tight. I don't know if it's something like a machine does and they just set it down to a specific torque or if it's something that like a person does by hand and they just tighten it to a specific point where like they probably their indication is probably when this starts to squeeze because this piece of rubber is actually quite stiff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to add in. So I'll go ahead and get back to the original video and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.